There's a story told in the town of Big Lake, Texas, a story of the town's beginnings. It's the story of the Santa Rita Number no. 1, birthplace of West Texas oil. Now, as with most Texas legends, there was a man who thought oil was right beneath his feet. And as with most such stories, no one else believed him. Except in this case, for two nuns, who in 1923 met the man and believed so much in him and his dream that they invested money no one knew they had. Now, when the nuns told their parish priest about the man's dream and their investment in it, uh, he counseled them to try and get their money back. Sheepishly, they admitted that it was too late, that the money was already spent. Well, the priest, he sighed, shook his head, and offered just one small bit of advice. Bless the sight with rose petals and invoke the help of Saint Rita, patron saint of impossible dreams. St. Rita was born Margarita Lotti in 1381 in the city of Roccaporena, Italy, and died May 22, 1472. Her feast day is May 22, and she is the patroness of impossible cases, difficult marriages, and parenthood. St. Rita was beatified by Pope Urban VIII in 1627 and canonized by Pope Leo XII on May 24, 1900. At a young age, Rita wanted to join a convent, but she was instead married to Paolo Mancini, who was a cruel man. They had two sons, whom she raised as Christians, which led Paolo to live a more tame lifestyle as well. Unfortunately, the Mancini family was engaged in a feud with the Chiqui family from Kasha, leading Paolo to be deceived and murdered. At his funeral, Rita publicly pardoned his murderer, but his brother Bernardo recruited Rita's sons to seek vengeance. Bernardo corrupted the boys, and when Rita tried to dissuade them from retribution, she failed. With nowhere else to turn, Rita prayed that God take her boys before they fall to the mortal sin of murder. God responded by taking them one year later via dysentery. With her family dead, Rita was told she could enter the monastery of St. Mary Magdalene if she could mend the wound between the families. After turning to John the Baptist, Augustine of Hippo, and Nicholas of Tolentino, Rita convinced Bernardo Mancini to abolish the feud. It was then that Rita was finally able to join the convent. Rita remained a devout follower of Christ at the monastery. One day, she looked upon the image of Christ and asked, Please, let me suffer like you, Divine Savior. A wound appeared on her forehead, which never healed, and caused her much suffering until the day she died. Following her death, she was buried at the Basilica of Kasha, and was later discovered to be incorrupt. Today, her relics can be found at the St. Rita Shrine in Kasha. St. Rita is often portrayed in a historically inaccurate black habit with a wound on her forehead and can be found holding a thorn, a large crucifix, or a palm leaf with three thorns representing her husband and two sons. 